Hey, hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to J and J Hot Wheels. Was here with Big J, and we've got a special episode for you guys today. A little outside the box, but I was scrolling through my uh, Craigslist in San Francisco Bay Area and came across this 1973 Corvette station wagon, and it was intriguing, needless to say. And this is really, truly a super treasure hunt. If you guys are into restoring cars and anybody out here that might see this video, this would be an amazing, an amazing car to restore. If you're into Hot Wheels or if you're just truly into one of one cars, this, this car right here really caught my eye. And uh, you can see here it starts off by showing some of the, some of the, uh, magazine articles from back in the day but this car was designed and built by Harry Bradley and he was uh, one of General Motors designers who was then hired by Mattel and he created 11 of the first 16 sweet 16 cars and this car really is just a truly piece of artwork and I thought I wanted to do a little video on it and you can see it definitely has some some issues uh, it, it says in this article, and I'm not going to read the whole article, but the car was wrecked in 1997, and it's been sitting in Hayward Castro Valley area, I believe, since 97. And with a little research, I noticed that it did pop up for sale in 2001, and it looked like there were no takers uh, for this this beautiful piece of artwork here. And uh, you can see the back end of it. It's it's truly a full custom, almost prototype style car. Uh, this is from, a, I believe, a Thunderbird, uh, and it was shortened down, this, this rear light. Uh, looks like it's missing uh, the rear glass, but it is a 354-speed Corvette from 73. No smog here in California, and uh, an air-conditioned car at that. And uh, I just thought it was truly interesting piece for somebody who might end up wanting to take on this project uh it would be an amazing car uh, if you could get it back to its original specs. Uh, Harry Bradley passed in 2023, and uh, he would have never got to see this car back on the road again. And I'm sure he would love to have seen it back on the road. But uh, anyways, this is just an amazing piece. And it, it goes down here to say that the, the, uh, the car was uh, matching numbers, 350 engine block. The car was in an accident in 1997 and hasn't been on the road since. It requires free, uh, uh, complete front to rear restoration, including steering body and drivetrain. The photos of the car in it, both its original and current condition. It's presently not drivable, but has been stored for over 20 years with a clean title. With the proper restoration, this car will be a museum piece and deserves to be could easily be worth six figures. This car is fully documented uh, numerous magazines and books like Keeping Track of Corvettes, Volume 4, Super Chevy, uh, 1977, uh, 78 front cover, Corvette News, Summer Issue, and just a, a slew of magazines. They're asking 15K or best offer. Uh, man, if I had the money and, and the resources to restore this, I, I think I would try to take it on because bringing this thing back to life would be uh would be truly a uh wonderful thing so anyways thought i'd bring it up to you guys maybe one of you guys out there in the hot wheels community wants to take on this project it would make for some really good content i could tell you that on both restoration car video content and hot wheel videos so if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, think about subscribing if you made it this far through the video. Uh, I do Hot Wheel reviews and uh, hunt videos, and we, Jaden and I, little Jay and I, go to car shows and we go to toy shows and go hunting for for cars. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.